collectively, individually, our actions are causing the temperature of the entire world to go up. Climate denialism isn't really a viable political position anymore. Just ask the folks at the latest Citizens Climate Lobby Conference. They traveled from across the country to push for carbon taxes, and they're all conservatives. It's hard to be a Republican and care about climate change without feeling like you're betraying the party. I think that this is all about trying to get people to not feel that way and trying to get them to break through and cross the line. Uh, I'm here to talk to you today about uh, climate advocacy training. Jacob Abel is a college senior who's training the members of the Eco GOP how to convince Republican lawmakers to act on climate change. Do you think that young Republicans are going to be the ones who potentially make a difference in the party on this issue of climate advocacy and climate change? I do. Um, Kevin McCarthy actually had a closed door meeting a few weeks ago with his members and said, we need to address climate change because we're going to lose voters over this. So I think that impact's already happening because they can see young people want to get this addressed and they want a Republican way to do it, a conservative way to do it. Their solution? A House bill called the Energy Innovation and Carbon Dividend Act. It would place a carbon fee on emissions to be paid out by companies, and that money would be given back to citizens as a dividend check to American households. But so far, only one Republican, retiring Congressman Francis Rooney, has signed on. So these newly minted lobbyists have to be calculating. It helps if you focus more on connecting with a person you're going to be talking to, a Republican staffer or a Republican member of Congress. The next day, lobbyists hit the hill. I've heard that a lot of environmental groups and maybe staffers are not very clear about what they want, so staffers appreciate just being direct. They met with 74 Republican offices that day. How was that meeting in Senator Lindsey Graham's office? Uh, it went very well. Uh, we disagree a bit on the dividend model of the, of the carbon pricing, but I think in the future, if a carbon pricing bill does come up um, with more support, he'll definitely be a leader on it. How would you describe the Republican Party's position right now on climate change? It's not where I want it to be. But I certainly think uh, they're accepting that it's caused by humans, man-made, um, and that we need to address it. But I think for a lot of the conservatives here today, it's not enough. We want to see them go further, take more of a, a loaded approach to the issue and more comprehensive. Um, so it certainly needs some work, I think, in my view, but it's moving um, more quickly than it has in the past.